I'm now just briefly going to cover the topic of if you wanted to manually tune in an extra channel, how would you do it? Well, you could go to nuclear option and simply do a full blind scan um, of the entire thing and it'll pull out in any extra channels that are there. But if you wanted to do a more sort of a, um, uh, a targeted approach where you have the frequencies of the channel that you want to add on, you can just manually add on that one channel and not serve the general channel list that you have. So basically, you just hit the menu button. Uh, and you come down to the installation menu, you come over anyway, and you come to uh, TP list here. And let's say uh, we wanted to, you have two choices here, you can actually try to add on a TP, or you can actually do a search uh, of a TP that's there, okay? So if we could come along, we'll say, and we could say, well, it's the BBC's, or Channel 4, we'll say, which is on 104, we want to do a search there, we can simply come along and hit the, press the blue button and do a search for that particular one. But just say I said, well, I actually, what I'd like to do is I'd like to add on UTV, and I'm not sure if that's a channel on it already. Well, we could scroll down and look for it, or alternatively, we can actually just come along here, hit the green button, and add in the, uh, the frequency here, which would be 22,000, we'll say. Uh, megahertz. Uh, oh, sorry, no, that's wrong. It's um, arrow down. Come back up. I just get my symbol right there. Uh, it's 10906. And then this here, the symbol rate will be 22,000. And uh, the polarity is vertical. And we'll simply do a save. Uh, TP already exists. Um, uh, jump, uh, exit TP, or select no uh, to continue to add, um, yes, so there we come along, and it just brings us to where in the list it could have been, okay, so I just did that for demonstration, and we come along here, and we'll simply do a scan here now, using the blue button, and we'll just go, do we want to do a free-to-air only, uh, we most certainly do, because we don't want to uh, encrypt the channels, um, network search, uh, yes, and then just press OK, and just search that one particular transmitter, our transponder, so you'd see it here, it finds everything to go with it, and press OK here, and we exit all the way out, 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 and we'll see here that these have been added on, the ones we saw here have all been added on to the end of the list. Now there was other ones like UTV that were in this list that we searched and found, but because it knew it was there already, and it presumed that you'd wanted that channel in the order that you had put it in already, it left it there in that order and didn't add it to the end of the list. So that is quite a nice piece of coding by Smart to have done that for you. And why would say adding channels on this is good. Always when I see that the features like that in boxes have more confidence in the manufacturer. Although Smart Electronics have proven themselves as we stock a range of our products and we find them quite, quite good. Okay, that's it. An overview of uh, uh, how to manually tune in a satellite channel.